KZ Guy 2 here at No Nonsense Know How. Today working on a 2004 Jeep Grand Cherokee and the windows are not functioning properly. In this video, I'm gonna show you real quick how to replace this master switch, but I'll also go over some of the other issues that will cause the power locks to not work properly, the mirrors and windows to randomly not work. This is gonna be real fast pace. If it helps you out, I definitely appreciate a thumbs up, maybe even toss me a subscribe. So here we go. Now, if your windows or power locks aren't working, a great place to start would be your fuse box located down here. It's held on by these uh, these little clips right here, so you just kind of pop this cover off. And then I used a power probe like this to just you could use a test light, but I went through each fuse with the key on, made sure they were all proper. If you don't know how to check a fuse box, uh, I'll plug in another link for a video how to do that. But if you find all your fuses are good, the next most common failure point on these is the wires going from the chassis over to the door. So if you take a pocket screwdriver and you pop this rubber off, sometimes it can be a little tough. Uh, I went in here and I said, oh, look at this. Somebody already put a new door harness in here. That's an aftermarket door harness. So I don't have any broken wires. Now, if you do have any broken wires in here, obviously splice the orange back to the orange or whatever the case, you can use butt connectors to, to reconnect these, but it's really, it's usually not gonna last. I think Jeep had an issue with their wiring because the way these bend, they, they just, they end up breaking over time. So if you have broken wires in here, best to do is to just replace the entire harness. It runs back in here and you can see somebody else butt connected and taped them all together. But anyway, if your wires are good, the third most common failure point is gonna be this window master switch. Now this customer happened to do his own research and said, hey, I wanna get my master switch replaced. I don't want any diagnostics, so how much to do so? So we're gonna just put that in here and hope it fixes the issue. But anyway, here's a quick rundown on how to replace this master switch. The point of this video. Pop this plastic cap off here. I had a Phillips behind here. One Phillips right there, and I had a T25 Torx right behind this handle. Then you're gonna wanna use a body clip tool like this one here, and you go around, pulling back on the door here, and you get all these, these clips, you kinda go behind there and pop these clips off. Now, these will probably, a lot of these break over time. Uh, if you just pull the door off like this, you risk actually breaking the door itself instead of the clip, so that's why it's a good idea to use that tool. But anyway, once you get all those off, you're gonna, sorry about the camera angles here, this, this camera I'm using is pretty crummy. You're gonna pull up and out, make sure they're all undone, and come behind here. Now, you're gonna have to take your finger, pop this yellow piece over like that, and get the one lever off, and then same thing underneath. Use your finger, or probably a tool would be a good idea. Pop that over and off. Okay, and then we're gonna have two connectors on this one. This here for your power mirrors. Just push in on that tab, pull out, and then same thing on the master. Right behind where this finger is, there's a little tab. You push in on that, and pull off, and boom, door panel's off. And here's the back side of the panel. We can see all these clips going around. Uh, you can see they do tend to break as they get older and get very brittle. So if you're doing this job, not a bad idea to, to get a pack of these before doing the job. Uh, but here's your master switch here. You're gonna use a T20 Torx and remove the five screws holding it in on the back side. Pop that whole thing out of there like that. And that's what she looks like. And we can see this switch has actually already been replaced with a junkyard one at one time. Look at that, it is a factory part though. Plug the new one in, lo and behold, the windows still don't work, which I kind of warned the customer of this. I said, we should probably do some diagnostics first. But he said, yeah, you know what, here's this switch, just go ahead and put it in. I said, all right, so went and checked the harness on this side, make sure harness is all good inside the door. So I said, all right, let's move over to the other side. I pulled this boot back, went inside of here, and we can see, boom, a broken wire. And this has already been repaired once maybe twice before. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and recommend to this customer that we replace the harness on this side. Otherwise, these wires, you know, they, they just got a bad bend to them and they, they crease back and forth and they end up breaking over time no matter what you do. So if you're looking for a quick fix, throw a butt connector in there, but it's probably gonna fail again. 
And after holding this black wire back together, had my buddy work the window switch over there, everything works properly. So I informed the customer, he said, uh, go ahead and replace this harness too. And he wants to put the new master in as well. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and still throw that in there. But here's another fine example. You see that orange wire behind this one? See how it's cracking on the, the sheathing there? Uh, so that's what happens. It, it, it cracks and then they keep bending and then they end up breaking. Just for the record, I think I mentioned earlier in the video that you have to take the door panel off to replace this harness. You do not. You gotta squeeze these tabs, get behind with a screwdriver, and then this whole clip comes out of here. You gain access to the connector. And to get to the other side of the wires, you take a screwdriver or something or another, you pop up on this, you got steel clips on there, under there, it's a little tight, and you're gonna remove like uh, two or three Phillips. You can see right there, you remove those, come down this way, and then this piece, this kick panel here will pop out. And you yeah, tag into the wires and the harness on this side because the problem area is in between the door here. I'm not going to show you in this video how to splice all those wires together because I want to get this job done and out of here. It's pretty self-explanatory though. Uh, I'll try to plug in another video to show you how to uh, crimp wires though. Anyway, assembly is going to be reverse. Make sure all your clips are in good condition and when you're pushing this panel back on, of course after you get your linkage and your connectors hooked up, when you're pushing this panel back on, make sure these these uh, plastic clips are lined up good with these holes. Don't just try to, try to hit them on there, you'll end up smashing and breaking those. So as you go around, kind of peek in there and make sure they're lined up good. Put your screws back on. Maybe a, not a bad idea to put some dielectric grease on these connectors. Anyway, I just wanted to give you a rundown on what's involved to replace that master switch. I'll keep it real short for you. Give you a few good tips in there too. And hopefully I accomplish that. Again, thumbs up. Hugely appreciated. Tossing a subscribe. Until next time, this is KZ Guy 2 here. No nonsense, no how. Enjoy the rest of your day.